Historically, autoclaves like this one behind me have been used to cure carbon fiber reinforced composites, but the required capital investment and operating costs, as well as long cycle times, preclude it from being used in high throughput applications. To address these shortcomings, the composites industry has made efforts to develop manufacturing techniques for which an autoclave is not required. One of the most promising out of autoclave techniques requires just a vacuum bag and an oven. First, a release agent is applied to the tool plate to prevent the composite from adhering to the tool during cure. Next, pre-preg plies are stacked up and edge breather is placed around the edges to allow air evacuation during cure. Then, a release film is placed on top and breather on top of that. Finally, a vacuum bag is sealed over the entire assembly and vacuum is applied to the whole system before putting it in the oven to cure at an elevated temperature. As you can see here, one issue with this technique is that defects are more likely to appear due to the lack of compaction pressure typically provided by an autoclave. Surface porosity can be quantified using a low magnification optical microscope like this one here and an image analysis program. We found that the best way to quantify surface porosity was to take a raw image of the composite surface, manually circle each surface flaw, then convert the color image into a binary one where surface porosity is indicated by black pixels. At USC, in collaboration with researchers at McGill University, University of Bristol, and the Technical University of Munich under a G8 multilateral funding initiative focused on sustainable manufacturing, we are investigating strategies to reduce these surface flaws. The first question we needed to address was the source of these surface voids. By thinking about how woven prepreg falls on the tool plate, we hypothesized that surface porosity forms when air that becomes trapped at the tool prepreg interface is unable to be evacuated prior to cure. To confirm this, we laid up a laminate on a glass plate so that we could visually observe what happens to this trapped air over time as vacuum is applied. Since it's unlikely that we'll be able to prevent air from being trapped at this interface, we realized it was necessary to develop effective strategies for the removal of trapped air prior to cure. This can either be done by increasing the debulking time or increasing the mobility of trapped air. We discovered that by aging prepreg for several days at room temperature, we were able to significantly reduce the tack and increase the mobility of the trapped air. Through these strategies, we were able to reduce surface porosity as much as 99%. We hope to continue to refine the manufacturing process to eliminate surface porosity without adding significant time and cost to the final product.